Hi and welcome back to another video. Today we are talking about Microsoft Excel's match function. And this will be a pretty quick tutorial, so if you do find it useful, please do click on the like button and hit subscribe. It does help the channel out massively. And with that said, let's jump on into it. Right, so in this example, I just have a little mini table here um, full of names and salaries. So if I would like to find a specific um, employee from my middle mini table here, the match function is one of the lookup functions within Excel that is incredibly useful for doing such a thing. Um, so what I'm going to do is open up an equal sign and type match, open up a bracket. Now this consists of three main parts. Okay, the first part is the lookup value. The second part is the lookup array, so where that value is going to be found. And then the last type is the match type. Okay, so our lookup value is this one here. I'm going to hit comma. And the lookup uh, array is the column in which this is going to be found. So I can't select multiple columns because it will not work. Instead, you have to select just the column or just the range that that particular value is going to be found in. Okay, so I'm just going to select column A, keep it clean and simple. If we press comma, you get the match types. Um, so less than, greater than, or um, exact match. So when I use an exact um, a match function, I always go for the exact match because that's what I'm trying to do. If you need to be looking at something like less than or more than or greater than, I probably wouldn't want to use a match function. I'd probably want to use an X lookup or something like that because it gives you a little bit more flexibility on what you're trying to find. Um, but for this example, I'm going to keep it nice, clean and simple and just put a zero for an exact match and close the bracket, press enter. Now, what this is doing is it's actually returning the row number in which the record is found. Okay, so if we just look down here and find Daniel, you can see he's in row five. Okay, so row five is what is returned in this particular value. And that is a match function. Now, the reason that a match um, function is used so widely within the Excel community is because you can use it within other formulas and functions that um, will drive out different results. An example of this is if you wrap um, an index around your match, you'll be able to pull back the salary, right? So in this example here where we've matched the um, name in column A, we can index column B um, so return the results of what's in row 5 in column B. And to do that, just at the beginning of our match function, we just type index, open up a bracket, select column B, and just press comma. So now if you look at this formula, we have the index, the column that we're actually indexing, and then our match formula after. And then at the end, we just want to close it off with another um, bracket, press enter, and now this is a currency, so I'm just using the format painter to pull that same format from here to there. And now we can see that it's 28,000. So if we go down to Daniel here, we can now see that his salary is 28,000, and that's what's being pulled back. So the way this is working is it's looking for Daniel within column A, it's finding the row that Daniel is sitting on, and then we're saying to Excel, okay, now we know it's on row five, we want to bring back whatever is in row five, but from column B, and that's our index. Okay, and that is a match and index formula and function combination. Um, if you guys found this useful, please do click on the like button, hit subscribe, and tap that bell if you want to be notified of all future releases. Um, and I will catch you guys in the next video.